Good morning, everyone. Kenny Griffin here with uh, another video forecast. Had a little week hiatus. Uh, had some stuff going on Friday. I was down in Charlotte getting my car worked on. And then Monday, of course, was MLK Day. Um, I was at, We had it off here. Um, Mike let us off for the day. And I was actually at a Beach Mountain riding. Um, really good conditions out there right now. Could be said for everybody across the region. Um, pretty much best conditions of the season thus far at all the ski areas. Saw some natural snowfall this weekend. Saw ton of snow making um, so really good we have had a period of about 24 hours now uh, well yesterday I guess we'll just call it yesterday um, yesterday saw some milder conditions with some wet weather um, some storms some rain moved through last night but it's it's out of here it's off well off to our south and east now um, winter has come back I guess you could say um, we're seeing temperatures this morning 20 degrees colder than what they were yesterday snow makings resume so all is well don't worry <laughs> but anyway uh, let's take a look at the Beach Mountain camera. Uh, you'll see a little bit of snow fall up there, maybe a dusting, a trace, whatever you want to call it. But um, good, cool nonetheless to see some uh, white on the ground up there. If we go to West Virginia, you'll see, uh, you can see the colder temperatures and uh, conditions up there. A little more easy to see, I guess. Uh, snow making going on right now, gray skies. They're actually seeing some um, scattered snow showers today. Um, you'll see conditions look awesome up there right now. I really love this camera. You can uh, see everything so well up there, but it uh, looks really cool. Um, if you can get out on the slopes today and tomorrow, Definitely the best uh, days, I guess, of the next week to get out there anyways. Uh, but here are those temperatures I was telling you about. 20 degrees colder pretty much from yesterday. Cataluchi's at 26 right now. Sugar's at 19 and Snowshoe's at 14 degrees. In addition to those cold temperatures, we're seeing some uh, pretty uh, gusty winds. Um, this morning we had winds of 22 at Cat. Um, 27 at Sugar and 30 up at Snowshoe. So combination of cold temperatures and uh, gusty winds making for a pretty, pretty blustery morning out there. Take a look at the radar, you'll see we do have a little area of snow showers up in the West Virginia. This looks like it's gonna move. Um, looks like it's gonna move right over top of Snowshoe actually in the next hour or two. Um, not a ton of snowfall with it, but hey, Cool nonetheless. Here in North Carolina, you can see it's all dry and then to uh, Virginia up into ski areas up there, much of the same. Though in the cloud cover, you'll see um, we do have cloud cover for pretty much everybody right now. You can expect this to thin out as the day wears on for uh, North Carolina and Virginia. Pretty much going to stick around throughout the afternoon up in West Virginia, but for North Carolina and Virginia ski areas, should see some sunshine by the afternoon, definitely. Take a look at what's going on right now. Here's that cold front that moved through last night. You can see um, it is off into uh, the east co eastern portions of North Carolina. Here's those snow or the scattered snow showers. Um, if we put this into motion, you'll see that front will continue to move off to our east. Snow showers and cloud cover will persist for West Virginia today. You'll see um, a clearing of things here in North Carolina and Virginia. But if we go and look um, overnight tonight, you'll see high pressure is going to build in. Every, everybody clears out, like I said. Um, should be a pretty nice nine out there should see a plenty of stars uh, but up towards the Great Lakes region you'll see um, we do have a warm front showing up there's going to be an area low pressure that's going to track across the northern Great Lakes tomorrow and by tomorrow night associated cold fronts going to be approaching the region you'll see um, snow showers associated with it as well by tomorrow night mainly West Virginia um, cloud cover for everybody tomorrow night we're looking at um, maybe one to three inches in West Virginia um, some flurries for everybody else if anything at all no real significant accumulation I guess you could say, um, but snow nonetheless, it's cool to see flurries, you know, whatever, it's awesome. Um, so anyways, let's take a look at that forecast for uh, beach. We're going to look, um, start there and then go up into uh, winter place to look at it. But today, um, there you go, cloud cover right now. We should see some sunshine by the afternoon though, 25-19, so round the clock snow making. Um, Thursday, um, sun, more sunny in the morning, clouds building in as the day wears on as that cold front does begin to approach the region, 35, 27, and then for Friday, we're going to see things warm up a little bit, unfortunately, um, cloudy, um, scattered light rain showers towards the evening hours, unfortunately, 41, 36, so you can see there's those temperatures going to warm up for the weekend. And then let's take a look at Winter Place. We'll go up to West Virginia and take a look at what they got going on today. There you go, cloudy. Um, scattered snow showers should taper off here shortly. Um, see some clearing of the skies overnight tonight. 29, 20 degrees, so around the clock soon making there as well today. Awesome. Uh, Thursday, uh, sunnier early in the day, but clouds building in as the afternoon wears on, as that front does approach. And then overnight on Thursday, we're going to um, see those snow showers up there. 
Um, 41, 27, so no snowmaking during the day tomorrow, but once that cold front comes in overnight, they'll be able to crank up the guns again. And then Friday, um, cloudy, unfortunately, uh, mild there as well, 41 and 38 with those uh, uh, scattered rain showers, possibly late overnight on Friday, maybe holding off till Saturday. So um, like I said, the next couple days are definitely your best chance to get out and get some turns in at the ski areas. Um, the weekend looks rather dreary <laughs> I guess you could say it's gonna be mild and wet especially on Saturday unfortunately we'll talk more about that on Friday I have another forecast for you guys here so anyways um, I will talk to you guys then later